So now we're gonna add sound to the game. So the first thing we're gonna do, come over to your file over here where it says sounds. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say import sounds. I've got several sounds already lined up that I want to use um, all right here. So I'm just going to highlight them all and open it. And here we have it all loading up. So that should take a minute. And then it's going to convert it into the right kind of uh, file so that we can use it in the game. All right, so how do you decide which folder to import your files into, right? The audio files in the sounds folder are downloaded completely before they're played, while the files in the music folder are streamed or played as they're downloaded. So if you put a music track in the sounds folder, it would take time to download completely before playing. But if it's in the music's folder, it can start playing immediately when it's streamed. So here, this is our music's folder loop, right? So we want to take this and we want to move this into our music folder like that. Now that we've got it in there, what we need to add to our layout here is uh, we need to add some audio. So I'm going to insert a new object and I'm going to add the audio object. Alright, so it shows that we've added it. Now we'll go back to our event sheet. So let's take it one by one. So the water sound here, we want to happen when the water is shot. So when it's created, we want that water to splash. All right, so what we're going to do, where we go up to on mouse click, where we spawn the water, we're going to add an action. And we're going to add an action to audio. What is it we want the audio to do? Well, we want it to play. And what is it we want to play? Not a salt loop, but water splash. And here we can listen to it. We do not want it to loop. Now volume, you can't go higher than one, but you can turn down the volume a little bit. So if your file is too loud, uh, what you can do is give this a negative value, okay? So let's press done, and let's see what happens when we run the game. Let me turn my volume up a little bit for my speakers, and well, if I'm ready. All right, so that does what we want it to do. All right, so now we, we can just copy this whole uh, action here. We can just right click and paste to it and then move it down. Another way, to, a fast way to do this is if you have it highlighted, you can hold the control button and drag this uh, and it will make a copy just like it does with the, the monster sprites. Um, we don't want the water splash sound, but we're just going to copy this over to the other things. So if you see we've got explosion, we've got the, the death of the monster, so after the destroy, right? Um, so we need one more up here. I guess we can add this to uh, this explosion piece here. And then uh, finally on collision when the player dies. Right? So here I'm going to change the sound. It's not going to be water splash. This one's going to be this grunting death. This one is going to be the explosion. Um, we can delete that. This one is going to be the beast death. And then finally, on the start of layout, if we want the background music to play, if I drag this up here, we can add the audio for the assault loop. And here we want it to loop, so it will start over as soon as it's done. I want to turn the volume down a little bit on the... Um, the water splash here and uh, also on the death I want this to be okay. and now let's play and see what happens we've got our loop
And there you have it. There's the audio for the game.